Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for watching my video and do all that good YouTube stuff. Share it, like it, hit the notification bell, thumbs up, subscribe, all the things that you do. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video and saving some money perhaps. I also invite you to check out the links in the description for some long-term savings with the stock market and uh, checking out the links for either E-Trade or M1 where you can uh, save and trade fractional stocks or Weeble, which is uh, usually giving away a couple free stocks for just depositing $100. So I strongly invite you to invest in your future and check them out. Thanks, and let's get to the video. 2013 Ford Edge front brake pad replacement. So go ahead and take the tire off. Break the lug nuts loose at Turner 2, probably 19 millimeter. Break them loose at Turner 2, then jack up the vehicle. Got a nice pinch weld seam along here. We'll probably jack it up right here in the middle, get both tires off the ground here in the center. Use safety stands. Again, just plenty of metal to jack up on safety stands. Protect yourself. Take the tire off the rest of the way. We've got our brake rotor, brake caliper, and brake caliper mount. So I like to get in here and get in here with a screwdriver, collapse the piston. Get in here and collapse your pistons. Then check the caliper slides and they move back and forth. Then you know you're pretty good to do a brakes, brake pads and rotors because your calipers are good. This is a real good test. So I'm gonna broke this loose, 17 millimeter. A little rusty here, you may take some sandpaper to it, clean it up a little bit. And that is removing your brake pads, brake rotor. All right, let's go to doing some cleanup and reinstalling here. Flatter side on the inside. Ready to reinstall. And you have your new rotor, which you've had machined or you're replacing it. This is a kind of a sealed rotor. We don't have to wash it. If you see metal on this, bare metal, it's probably have an oil on it. And you need to wash it with warm soap and water and they can towel dry it. Sometimes I put that on there to help just hold the rotor straight while I put the other stuff together.
torque on those is uh, 98 foot pounds. The other brake pads, old brake pads didn't have this, but I'm going to put this on. Little clip fits on there. Put a little lubricant on the touching points, not on the pad, just on the points where it sits on the caliper mount a little bit. Sorry about the choppy image if that's happening. So if your pistons are not collapsed all the way, you can use a large channel locks or a C-clamp and just collapse them the rest of the way. Put an old brake pad in there and then just collapse it till they uh, bottom out basically and you'll be fine. Get this rubber boot to lay in there nicely. A little bit. So 98 on the caliper bracket, 65 on these, and 100 foot-pounds on the lug nuts. Start all nuts and bolts of, by hand, of course. Tighten them as tight as you can in a crisscross pattern. As tight as you can, then lower it so the tire touches the ground. Once it's touching the ground, then torque them down to 100 foot pounds. Then we'll go to the master cylinder and talk about that for a minute. You can also turn the steering wheel to the left or right as needed to make it easier to access the bolts on your calipers. Here we are, the hood open. Here's your master cylinder right here. Right has a maximum level right here and a minimum level down lower goes quite a ways down there so just keep an eye on it you don't want any fluid necessarily to overflow when you're collapsing pistons brake fluid can do damage to paint so you can avoid that just keep an eye on it add dot three brake fluid as needed you top it off pump the brake pedal a few times before you check the fluid level it might change a little bit so there it is that's the fluid as needed to get it close to the maximum level and then uh, you're good to go. Replacing your front brakes. 2013 Ford Edge.